Welcome to our weekly energy forecast and meditation. We're Sabina and Juna from Synergy in Motion, where it's all about empowering you to live true to you. Our weekly forecasts and meditations are based in the wisdom of the I Ching and human design, and they're also inspired by the Gene Keys. Every week we Look, what's the energy, what is the current hexagram, which is based in the I Ching, also interpreted by human design. And look, what is a current theme that we would like to contemplate and play with, and that is very present with clients, with ourselves. And then we present that on Sundays to you through these forecasts. And this week is... <laughs> this week is all about hexagram 37, and it's family, friendship, and community. It's this energy of the affection and love of family and relationships. So you might be looking at your week and just consider what is working in your relationships, what isn't. And it's really the close-knit, tribal kinds of relationships that involve support and being supported. Um, tribal relationships are all about... Um, the bargain, the deal, and just really taking a look, take a, take a little look into your different relationships, close friends, family members, whether you're a parent or you're a son or daughter, just look at those relationships and see what, what is the deal? What, what has been the bargain? And just notice if it needs to be tweaked, talked about, or shifted in some way. And what we've been noticing, we've had conversations recently, um, just a couple days ago, with all the changes happening in family. The traditional family unit has been changing for quite a few years now, and um, family friendships are go undergoing a big mutation, like on an evolutionary level. Uh, these tribal kinds of relationships have been based on, you know, everybody must be the same in order to survive. And we're moving into this new era that's not quite here yet about really honoring the individual people in each of the tribe and bringing forth their gifts, their genius, because what's going to be required, so a lot of people say, we don't know yet, we're, we're kind of, we're right at the precipice, is that our individual skills and uniqueness is what's going to be required for our survival and bringing each of our individual natures to the community is like, can you imagine what that would be? Because in the past and kind of in currently, a lot of times it's um, the individual has to give themselves up or cut parts of and pieces of them off in order to be with the family. And, you know, it's just not always honoring or not necessarily family, but it could be friendships or partnerships, work, work relationships. And yeah, like what, what could a world be like if the individual was honored and supported and loved for who they are and had their gifts brought out? I mean, ideally that's, I mean, that's what we like to do in our relationship is, you know, who can we be to bring out the best in each other? And uh, so, yeah, we're undergoing this big mutation in this area of family, friendships, relationships. And this week we'd like you to consider What's working in your relationships, your close relationships, and what isn't working so well? And, you know, what's a little, what's a shift? You know, don't have to take a huge step, but what's a shift that you can do or what, what's required to make a change? And one of the things in these sort of tribal, close-knit um, relationships is the importance of touch, <laughs> you know, like just that connection, um, that affection. A lot of us, you know, you can get miserable because you just haven't been touched in a long time and you lash out or whatever. So just even a smile can shift something between you and your partner or um, a, gesture. a gesture, a little doing something around the house or just an offer of something like a small action can make a big difference. You know, what? I, when you were talking, I just realized one of the shifts might be that in the past, we often have tried to understand our relationship, our families, with our mind. And 
like looked at the bargains of what's in it for me and what do I have to do in return, which was very much born in the mind. And I wonder if this whole dynamic moves into the heart where we really stop judging and really embracing each other and loving each other, not necessarily agreeing and being okay with everything, but walking away from situations that don't work without having to make yourself or the other party wrong, but just saying, hey, this really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. This is like ending a bargain with love instead of conflict. And I've seen so many relationships end that either fought till the cows come home Mm -hmm. or really where there was a mutual understanding and, yeah, our time together in this way is completed and still love can flow just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that you can't love them Mm -hmm. and just having that more of an honoring way as a possible future. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say, too, that I don't necessarily think um, those tribal relationships were based in the mind as much as they were in practicality, Mm -hmm. like surviving, surviving the harsh realities of the environment or whatever and coming together. And you came together and you just, you all worked hard on the farm. You worked hard to make something happen. And then if one of you was a daydreamer and wanted to write poetry or, you know, that's the lazy good for nothing Mm -hmm. son or whatever. And So that that's, you know, this dance between being that individual and being part of something. And that's that's really the theme of this week is a a part looking to be part of a whole, you know, so you're 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 yourself and then looking to be part of a community. And then how does that that all shake down and break down and how can we all honor like the individual. Mm -hmm. And the mind was more in terms of trying to understand what worked and then repeating it in the future. Mm -hmm. And so that, that aspect there. So (laughs) yeah, there's, this is a huge topic, but for this week, just notice, Mm -hmm. it's just really noticing. And again, being bringing presence to your relationships, those close intimate relationships Mm -hmm. and um, just, asking you know what can change here does anything need to change with the bargain a lot of times the bargain is underneath it's not even spoken and um, I think that's where we get in trouble so is there a way that we can communicate about what we need what we desire and then also being okay if the other person cannot or does not want to give that Mm -hmm. so yeah it's a it's a big topic for sure and uh And, and an important one like we always look okay does it still work? Do we need to change something? Because that keeps a, any kind of relationship, whether that's with another person or a group of people, it keeps it alive because you're still present. You bring yourself into the relationship when you actually become aware of the bargain and agreeing with it or disagreeing and changing it or walking away. Mm-hmm. It's very, very powerful. And yeah, often there's one person that changes and then the other person stays the same. And then how do you negotiate Mm -hmm. that? So Mm -hmm. uh, just notice and really, you know, bring in that that quality of love. And, you know, would you like the caring and the love that you started off the relationship with? Could that could that continue? And, you know, how can you tap into that love and caring for the person as Sabina said, even though maybe you don't want to live with them anymore or it's not working in one way, but you can still love them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice note to begin the meditation with. All right. Let's Perfect. go. <laughs> Woo. So just make sure your body is comfortable and give yourself that wriggle. And allow yourself to breathe deeply into your beautiful body. Coming home to yourself in this present moment.
And with your breath, allow your body to relax. And held by the earth. Bringing your awareness into the here and now with your body. Allowing a sacred space from within to unfold all around you. A sacred, safe space in the present moment. And then guide your awareness to your breath. And imagine your breath flowing into your chest and allowing that chest to expand and relax. And on the out breath, Allow yourself to give yourself a little sigh. In. <sighs> Letting go. Being held by your sacred space. And keep your breath flowing deeply into your body. Coming to a point of stillness, presence. And in that stillness, connect with your energetic heart, that powerful center in your body. That allows you to love, to care, to experience gratitude. You might want to think of something that you are grateful for. Someone you love. Someone that makes your heart laugh or something. Whether that is a being or a space in nature, whatever it is. Allow it to activate your loving, your energetic heart.
and allow that energy, that quality of your love, of your caring and gratitude to become bigger, expand and fill your body and your sacred space. And take this moment and love yourself or be grateful for yourself, for your uniqueness, for your gifts, whether it is your unique ways of failing or succeeding, your difference in the world, your creativity, your fights and your celebrations. Just love the way you express yourself in the world and love you, the being, the artist. all your colors and all your diversity and include all of it the good, the bad, the ugly and the beautiful all makes up you And in that space, as if by magic, allow all those thoughts, feelings, projections on you, whatever it is that is not you, to dissolve, to fall away, to transform. And ground yourself in your being, in your uniqueness. In the beauty of your diversity. And connect it 
with yourself. Become aware of the people in your life. And allow your gratitude, your caring, your love to reach out. Connect with them. While you stay connected with yourself, Allow this energy to flow through you and to them. And expand your awareness, including other people, those might, who might not be so close, those whom you might have a bit of an issue with. Those from the past or the future, just Allow them to come into your circle and allow yourself to let your love flow, your gratitude, as much as you can. And if you feel you're losing yourself in that, just take a breath and come back to your core, your sacred space, and then reach out again. And then expand your awareness even further into the invisible world, to the eye, to the physical eye, invisible world. And just perceive the beings there who are connected with you who belong to your clan. Your pack, your team, whatever you want to call them. Those beings who are here to support you, to cheer you on. And allow your love to connect with them, to reach out to them. Be grateful for them.
And while you allow your energy, your loving to flow out, simultaneously also perceive their love, their caring, flowing to you, reaching out to you, and making a connection. Interacting with you. And open yourself up to receive this. Just because you can. Now focus on the current relationships that you have with your family, your partner, your friends, your colleagues, the world. And just become aware of where there might be an imbalance. Where a bargain doesn't really work for you. You don't have to do anything about it. Just become aware of, well, okay, the flow doesn't quite go the way anymore as it used to or need some changes. Just be present with that awareness. And in this awareness, just be open for change. You don't have to necessarily facilitate it. Just be okay with whatever needs to unfold. Be present with it. You don't have to force it. Just be present. And still keep your loving flowing and receiving.
and then let that awareness go and return to your sacred space, your heart. And then let your awareness shift to those relationships that really work, that make you happy. And take a moment to really receive them, receive that energy of the flow, that connection. And that can be with anyone or anything. And again, you don't have to do anything about it. Just be present and aware. And then let that go and come back to your sacred space and your heart center. And become aware of how you can stand strong in yourself as an individual and reach out to the other, connecting with the power of love and caring. Not having to agree or disagree, be right or wrong, but just being present in the power of love. And together, let's stand in this energy, that power of being an individual, connecting with others, and never having to lose yourself within that dynamic. Bringing forth your diversity, your uniqueness, your gifts, into the global community, family, whatever it is for you. Let's hold this world in the capacity to connect and relate in that way.
however that looks like. And then return with your awareness to yourself, to your center, and to your capacity for loving yourself and others. And in the next week, Allow yourself to play, to love, to change, to look at the bargains with others from this loving space. And also re receive a big wave of love from us. Big, big, big. So grateful for you, for your journey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you, Sabina, for that trip with love <laughs> and presence, uh, reminding us to be present, just bringing presence to every situation. And yeah, yeah, this our, let our friendships and relationships be that which they can be and um, allow that love to come forward. Mm -hmm. And love doesn't always look pretty in pink. Sometimes mm -hmm. loving yourself and loving the other means saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. So, yes, may, you, may your heart be full this week and uh, carry this into your week and let us know how it's working for you as you contemplate your most closest intimate relationships in life. And we will see you again next week with a new theme, mm. probably in the theme of emotions. Oh, next week is a little bit different, but we're, we've been in this emotional journey. So again, remember that if you've been on an emotional ride, it's part of, it's part of all of it. So be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next week. Wonderful. <laughs> Bye. Bye.